Mr. President, after you have been so warmly received yesterday here in Davos, it is now my great pleasure to officially welcome the President of the United States, Donald J. Trump, to the closing session of the World Economic Forum's annual meeting 2018. Mr. President, you cannot imagine how much we are looking forward to your speech. Not just the 3,000 leaders assembled here in Davos, but also the millions joining us globally thanks to the presence of key media from around the world. Mr. President, on behalf of the business leaders here in the room, let me particularly congratulate you for the historic tax reform package passed last month, greatly reducing the tax burden of U.S. companies, fostering job creation as well as stimulating economic growth in the United States, but also providing a tremendous boost to the global economy. Davos is the place where leaders of states and industry come and work together in the pursuit of global peace and prosperity. We live in an interdependent world where decisions made by one nation, particularly by the United States, impact all other countries. I believe that so today we need to strike the right balance between the necessary rebuilding of national social contracts and at the same time strengthening our multilateral system to address critical issues such as trade, investment, terrorism and migration, to name just a few. Mr. President, the role of the United States and your personal leadership is absolutely essential. For this reason, your message here has tremendous relevance. Of course, I'm aware that your strong leadership is open to misconceptions and biased interpretations. Therefore, it is so essential for us in the room to listen directly to you. This forum, as it has done for nearly five decades, should create a base for dialogue and global cooperation where, and I quote you, Mr. President, strong sovereign nations with different values, different cultures, and different dreams 
do not just coexist, but work side by side on the basis of mutual respect. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the 45th President of the United States, Donald J. Trump, to the stage. Thank you, Klaus, very much. It's a privilege to be here at this forum where leaders in business, science, art, diplomacy, and world affairs have gathered for many, many years to discuss how we can advance prosperity, security, and peace. I'm here today to represent the interests of the American people and to affirm America's friendship and partnership in building a better world. Like all nations represented at this great forum. America hopes for a future in which everyone can prosper and every child can grow up free from violence, poverty, and fear. Over the past year, we have made extraordinary strides in the U.S. We're lifting up forgotten communities, creating exciting new opportunities, and helping every American find their path to the American dream, the dream of a great job, a safe home, and a better life for their children. After years of stagnation, the United States is once again experiencing strong economic growth. The stock market is smashing one record after another and has added more than $7 trillion in new wealth since my election. Consumer confidence, business confidence, and manufacturing confidence are the highest they have been in many decades. Since my election, we've created 2.4 million jobs, and that number is going up very, very substantially. Small business optimism is at an all-time high. New unemployment claims are near the lowest we've seen in almost half a century. African-American unemployment has reached the lowest rate ever recorded in the United States, and so has unemployment among Hispanic Americans. The world is witnessing the resurgence of a strong and prosperous America. I'm here to deliver a simple message. There has never been a better time to hire, to build, to invest, and to grow in the United States. America is open for business, and we are competitive once again. The American economy is by far the largest in the world, and we've just enacted the most significant tax cuts and reform in American history. We've massively cut taxes for the middle class and small businesses to let working families keep more of their hard-earned money. We lowered our corporate tax rate from 35 percent all the way down to 21 percent. As a result, millions of workers have received tax cut bonuses from their employers in amounts as large as $3,000. The tax cut bill is expected to raise the average American's household income by more than $4,000. The world's largest company, Apple, announced it plans to bring $245 billion in overseas profits home to America. Their total investment into the United States economy will be more than $350 billion over the next five years. Now is the perfect time to bring your business, your jobs, and your investments to the United States. This is especially true because we have undertaken the most extensive regulatory reduction ever conceived. Regulation is stealth taxation. The U.S., like many other countries, unelected bureaucrats, and we have — believe me, we have them all over the place — and they've imposed crushing and anti-business and anti-worker regulations on our citizens with no vote, no legislative debate, and no real accountability. In America, those days are over. 
I pledged to eliminate two unnecessary regulations for every one new regulation. We have succeeded beyond our highest expectations. Instead of two for one, we have cut 22 burdensome regulations for every one new rule. We are freeing our businesses and workers so they can thrive and flourish as never before. We are creating an environment that attracts capital, invites investment, and rewards production. America is the place to do business. So come to America, where you can innovate, create, and build. I believe in America. As President of the United States, I will always put America first, just like the leaders of other countries should put their country first also. But America first does not mean America alone. When the United States grows, so does the world. American prosperity has created countless jobs all around the globe, and the drive for excellence, creativity, and innovation in the U.S. has led to important discoveries that help people everywhere live more prosperous and far healthier lives. As the United States pursues domestic reforms to unleash jobs and growth, we are also working to reform the international trading system so that it promotes broadly shared prosperity and rewards to those who play by the